Hello, curious learners. Today we are going to look at multiplying monomials. This is in our lesson series of polynomials. So first off, we have to just remember what is a monomial. A monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and variables. So that seems kind of complicated. Let's look at some examples of what monomials are to try and help um, us understand. Here's a monomial. 3ABC. This means 3 times A times B times C. So it is the product of a number and variables. It's all multiplication. So a term like this that comprises a number, a variable, or a series of variables is all considered one term, and that is a monomial. So in this lesson today, what we're going to do is multiply monomials times monomials. So this is what happens when we do that. I'm going to kind of expand it out um, just to, to show you in basic terms what we're doing. 5x times 3y. Remember, 5x means 5 times x and 3y means 3 times y, so it's 5 times x times 3 times y. Basically, we're just multiplying. So what we can do is multiply the numbers, 5 times 3 and get 15, and x times y gives us xy. So multiplying monomials is basically multiplying the numbers and joining the variables. Pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and practice with some multiplying. Here we have the monomial 6p, and we're multiplying that times negative 9q. When you multiplied them, did you get negative 54pq? Multiply the numbers, 6 times 9 gives us 54, positive times a negative gives us a negative, and p times q is pq. Now, I want to talk about exponents, changing the subject just a little bit to talk about exponents. Now, the first thing we need to understand is that x times x gives us x to the power of 2, x squared, all right? The biggest mistake um, people make is to say x times x is 2x, and that's not true. It's x to the power of 2, and you need to understand that moving forward. So here's an example where we would be multiplying 3x times 8x. We're going to multiply 3 times 8, which gives us 24, and we're going to multiply x times x, which gives us x squared. So this is an example where our exponents, like this, get join together, or we start getting exponents in there when we're multiplying numbers. So 3x times 8x gives us 24x squared, and that's how we would show that using multiplication, using exponents. Um, remember that, again, I can't emphasize it enough, x times x is x squared, and that's going to be really, really key to being successful in this type of question moving forward. One more example of exponents, here we go. x times x times x gives us x to the power of 3. That's important. So let's look at an example of that type of question. If I had 2x squared times negative 10x. Remember, 2x squared means x times x. All right, 2 times x times x. That's our first term. And we're multiplying that times negative 10 times x. So in the end, we're going to have three x's when we're multiplying. So our numbers, 2 times negative 10, gives us negative 20. And our variable is x squared times x, or in other words, x times x times x, which will give us x to the power of 3. Hmm. Are we noticing any patterns? with these variables, and with these exponents. So I'm going to give you a question to go ahead and solve. I want you to think about this one. I want you to solve this question. 4a times 5a. 
Now, inside of uh, the curious question world, I can't write a variable of a to the power of 2. I can't write a squared. Um, so your answer options will be written as a to the power of 2 with that kind of little pi mark, as you see there. All right, so that means a to the power of 2 moving forward. We're going to use that for all exponents just to write them out. All right, when you multiplied them together, you should have gotten 20a to the power of 2. 4 times 5 is 20. a times a is a to the power of 2. Um, and again, it's written not as a to the power of 2, but as a with that little um, pi mark. So let's mix and match a little bit. Um, and try and try and see this as what it really is out in the world of lots of variables and exponents. 3a squared b times 7ab squared. Let's go ahead and write it all out. 3aa, -A, or 3 times a times a times b, times 7 times a times b times b. Now, what I like to do when I'm multiplying is I like to move things together that have... Um, like terms, so I would have 3 times 7 times a times a times a times b times b times b. There's three a's, there's three b's, there's a 3 times a 7. So I'm going to put them all out there like that, and now I'm going to join them together. 3 times 7 is 21. I have a to the power of 3 and b to the power of 3. So every time you get a question like this, you can write it all out or there's a shortcut. And this is a shortcut I kind of alluded to earlier. Maybe you noticed it before. You can add the exponents. Instead of writing out a times a, and then um, 3 times a times a, and then 7 times a, instead you can add the exponents. Remembering that a to the power of 2 here, this b is an implied b to the power of 1. So this would be also a to the power of 1. So you're adding a to the power of 2 plus 1, which is 3. See that? And this is b to the power of 1 plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is also 3. All right. So that shortcut's going to be helpful for us in the future. I want you to try this one out. Again, remember that x to the power of 2, or x squared, will be written using this little um, pi thing. All right, you can write them out or you can add the exponents. That's up to you, entirely up to you. But here's your question, 2x squared y cubed times 8x cubed y to the power of 4. Go ahead and solve that. You can pause this and we'll solve it. All right, when you multiply those out, what I'm going to do um, in this step is sort of lay it out for you. This is um, 2 times 8. I just put the numbers together. Now I'm going to join our x values. We have x to the power of 2 and x to the power of 3. Instead of writing it out as x times x times x times x times x, I'm going to write it out as x to the power of 2 plus 3. And I'm also going to write it out as y to the power of 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4. Just adding them together. So our final answer should be 16, because 2 times 8 is 16 x to the power of 5, y to the power of 7. Again, you can write this all out, and you'll find that it's the same thing, or you can just add the exponents, and you'll get the same number. Some things to remember as we're coming to our conclusion here. First off, you need to multiply the numbers. The numbers or the coefficients, the numbers before the variables, those ones need to be multiplied together. Secondly, you join the variables together. If the variables are different, like a times b times c, just join them together into a, b, c. If the variables are the same, then you add the exponents to get a new larger exponent. All right. So the examples that we've done before, x times x would be like x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1. Add those together and you get x to the power of 2. So that's how this works. Here are the rules for multiplying monomials. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.